hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus shalom the lord bless you i welcome you in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah praise god thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god what got me excited <laughs> honestly i don't ah <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord so this is a very and a timely prophetic word for you you needed to be here and you had to hear this and god brought you here for a reason and i'm very happy at this point in time that you're here and by the special grace of god and to his glory i believe that he will be doing what he has said he will do in jesus mighty name amen now honestly um this is very emotional very when i started the prophetic word the holy spirit just made me laugh like how I, I felt like dancing and all that and this is very good because i don't know what happened like i like i'm not saying that i don't know why i dance but i'm just saying that like i should be I should have been serious coming to talk about these or you know but i instead just had that shaking and all that which means that god is always taking care of whatever is happening god is always taking care of whatever you're going through this is a personal prophetic word and of course what i'm talking about being personal is personal to a lot of people there is somebody right now you're going through a lot and you're not only going through a lot you have been through a whole lot in fact your life is made up of stories from one story to the other from one event to the other from one drama to the other you're the one i'm talking about your life is made up of a lot a lot like you know you're that person who it, it looks like you can say everything is happening to you at the same time now why do i say so because i'm talking about somebody who says this is affecting my personal life my career wise this is affecting my job wise this is affecting my, my family my family is affected my job is affected my career is affected my partner is affected my marriage is affected my relationship is affected my ministry like i'm that, that's the person i came to talk to I came to talk to that particular person whom everything about you is affected yes you're the reason i came here everything about you is affected and you feel so down you feel so devastated and you feel so discouraged you know one of the worst things that can happen to somebody is when we see a lot of people people's life going on fine when we see people that we know we see them living amazing lives we see them be good be living so happy you know it's not like we are not happy for people but sometimes it gets us to the place where we start asking questions it gets us to that position where we start asking god a lot of questions like what is happening to me what is going on in my life what wrong did i do or what wrong have i committed you're that person i came to talk to the bible says that there was a man that was blind and the bible says jesus had to encounter this particular man who was blind and then the disciples asked jesus they said who sinned you know they were so surprised and they said who sinned they were confused why because they have been tempted to understand or they were tempted to understand or they were made to understand that sometimes some negative things that begins to happen to people is because of maybe sin or somebody's ailment and somebody's uh, covenant somebody's wrong you know and that's very true some of us are suffering today because of generational curses because of generational covenants yes so the people ask jesus who sinned what happened i came to talk to you today you're that person who is going through a lot right now and you're asking a lot of questions where did i fault at where did i go wrong and then you have been praying you've been seeking the face of god and you know that you did not go wrong in any aspect why because 
it is not revealed to you you are not seeing anything you're just looking at a lot of things standing still in your life you're just looking at a lot of things like it's just normal it's just it has just become a normal happening to you like you really cannot understand anymore you have taken it to the level that it's like your chest is going to burst out yes and it's not easy on you you're the person i came to talk to you're the person I came to talk to you're the person I came to talk to God is never late I say it again God is never late he might come late to you to make you the latest you might be looking at yourself and you're about to give up you're feeling so devastated you're feeling so downcast you don't know who sinned you don't know who cursed you. You don't know what you did to have all this happening in your life. God is never late. There are things that happen to us so that we can learn. There are things that we go through so that we can grow through. What did I say? There are things that we go through so that we can go grow through. So many times I've had to ask God a lot of questions about some simple, simple things. That I used to feel like they were simple. But as I age, I understand they were not simple. I felt like it happened only to me alone. As I age, I understand it did not happen only to me alone. And that is what you're thinking right now. You're thinking it happened only to you alone. Or it's happening only to you alone. And God is telling me to tell you right now that it's not happening only to you alone. That is what the enemy does. Making people, putting them in a one tight corner. Making them to feel abandoned. Like they are the only people under attack, delay, limitation. The fact that people don't talk about their problems doesn't mean they are okay. They have just grown and learned to be mature about it. God is showing up for you. Don't give up. At the right time, God will announce you. He will make you the latest. He will prove his glory. He will prove his evidence, his presence in your life. And you will testify to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Your time is coming. Your time is coming. Your time is coming. In Jesus' name, somebody type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, my time is coming in the name of Jesus. Say it again, somebody. Say, my time is coming. Say it for the last time. My time is coming in Jesus' mighty name. Your time is coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do not forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord to lead you. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. And also, do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, what really are you waiting for? Please kindly subscribe. Join this amazing family. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. Keep you cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. I love you so, so much. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. Your time is coming. Shalom.